This video will give a brief explanation on how to set up and use the HD1080 camera. The HD1080 can be used as a standalone imaging system or connected to a computer. This video will focus on using it in standalone mode. We'll start by removing the cap from the C-mount port. If there is a peel-off sticker or film, go ahead and remove it. I'm going to use the camera with a stereo microscope, which has a 23mm drop-in photo port. To connect the camera and optimize the field of view, I'm going to use a 0.5 reduction lens. Simply screw it into the camera's C-mount port, then slide it into the microscope's photo port. Next I'll attach an HDMI cable. This will give me a live view on a monitor or television. The camera includes a USB mouse, which is used to control the internal software. I'll plug this into the USB port. Next I'll attach the power adapter. Once power is connected, this LED will light up. I'll insert a secure digital card. This is where all the images and video will be stored. And now I'll press the power button. A blue LED will light up, indicating that the camera is on. When using the camera in standalone mode, all of the functions will be controlled using the mouse. Start by moving the cursor to the top left corner of the screen. This will activate the on-screen controls. The camera button will take a picture. The gear button will display the main control panel. At the very bottom, you can select an electrical line frequency to control flickering. At the very top, you can enable or disable the auto exposure and white balance. Disabling these will give you full manual control over the other settings, such as exposure, gain, contrast, and color. Near the bottom are two very important buttons. The left camera button is for taking still images. The right video camera button, as you might suspect, is for recording videos. There is a second menu on the right side of the screen. This gives you certain controls like flipping the image horizontally and vertically, digital zoom, masking, and an image browser. 